Hey guys, Ronnie here, Early Bird Farms. Today, it's a beautiful day here in South Carolina, 70 degrees outside. It's November 7th. I can't believe that it's this warm out here. But I uh, went deer hunting this morning. Have a little video that you should have already saw. Um, it got posted earlier in the week where I went deer hunting. Today, I'm out here doing a little yard work, trimming up some hedges. Stuff that's just gotten away from uh um you know the end of summer uh, two reasons for that one was uh the abelia was still blooming actually it's still blooming now in november can't believe it but it done got so wild and leggy i wanted to bush up so i want to trim it now so when spring comes you know all the new growth will have lots of flowers on it and uh, trimmed up the lower pedalum and the gara. I should have took a picture of the gara before I trimmed it because that stuff was three foot tall and it, it looked like a big woody bush. And uh, I cut all the woody stems back. Those woody stems on that stuff does put on new growth next year. It'll have flowers on it. And that stuff is beautiful. It's covered in white flowers in early spring and it, it blooms almost all the way to the end of fall but i wanted to uh trim it up because it then got out of hand so i'm gonna add all this stuff to the uh compost pile and that's kind of what i'm doing now and i'm gonna i think i'm gonna turn to get the tractor and turn the compost pile too so we'll bring you along and show you that this is all the stuff see all the woody stuff let me show you where it comes i trimmed it back I'm trying out a new technique rosemary is supposed to be insect repellent so i just kind of threw the uh the limbs kind of along the uh see how i did that just along the front uh azaleas are starting to grow a little bit i put a second fertilizer on them um second um second time i put fertilizer on i did it about probably near the beginning of october maybe even the end of september some holly tone uh they're starting to grow see this one's putting on a little bit of flowers these are supposed to bloom in the spring and in the fall but uh i guess the first year or two they really just put on roots some uh, hosta i kind of want to fill in more hosta around here i gotta get some more uh we went to the mountains a few weeks ago i bought these two plants right here on uh clearance at a Lowe's up in uh, Sugar Mountain. I bought those and some other ones I'll show you. Here's the uh, rhododendrons. They putting on new leaves. And this is what I trimmed today. This is the abelia. Abelia, abelia, something like that. They really overcrowding the little Henry here. And um, I've gotten three. These little Henry, if you look, they'll have sprouts that'll come out of the ground. And you can pull these sprouts up and repot them. And black eye Susans, I cut the dead heads off and I've thrown them through here so that hopefully the seeds uh, will uh, come germinate right there. And look at the creeping Jenny, man. It has really taken off the latter part of the fall. I pulled some of it back to get it out of my drain and try to replant some more. This is the biggest difference. These two plants right here are the Gara, and they were probably 36 inches around and at least 36 inches tall. So I trimmed them back, and you can see it's got new growth coming in down there at the bottom, but hopefully they'll fill back out. Trim the lower pedalum. I trimmed this uh, hoss up. Actually, I forgot. To... This had gotten so long and leggy and growed so quick that it was uh, pulling the roots up on the back end. So hopefully this uh, this winter it'll set roots and kind of hold that in. I really love this stuff. It smells so good. It's got a licorice uh, smell to it. Butterfly bushes. I'm really happy with how this is filled out. I hadn't done any trimming on this and I'm gonna leave it like this. Uh, this thing will get really tall, 10, 12 foot tall. But I like it real bushy like this. 
Another thing, I got all this wild stuff growing in the yard. So I'm gonna hit it with a little 2,4-D, just, just each one of those, just to knock that back. I have been working on grass. I overseeded this. You can see some of it's coming up in there amongst that clover. I know I need to cut it, but I've strawed all this area. That place right there was completely bare. No topsoil at all on it. So that over there too. So I'm trying to just get something to grow. We'll take you to the uh, compost pile now. What I've done is put this at the back. This is all the stuff that come out of the wheelbarrow. This is my compost pile. This is wood chips layered with, with scrap from the uh, kitchen and my mom's home and my mother-in-law's home and tea bags and coffee grinds and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna take the track there's front end loader and just roll it over. This is some, this is some more of the wood chips. For some reason, this compost is down a lot quicker. You can see most of this is, is dirt now. Anyway, I leave this here to use this for pot and soil mix. I mix it in with with us uh, some. Uh, I got a bin over here that I got. I take dirt out of that's got worms in it. So I take that dirt and mix it with this dirt and make a uh, a pot and soil with it when I need it. I went ahead and slid this pile back about six feet. Rolled it on top of that that stuff and we'll let it sit here till winter. Went ahead and rolled my my dirt one too. Very rich looking. So Keep working it. One day I like to build me a bin back here. Why not to fit my tractor in that way I can really layer it like you're supposed to and uh find some <laughs> This tree right here, I did what they call a hack and squirt method on it last year or the year before. I didn't want it here, it was too big for me to get with a machine that I rented. You can uh Take a hatchet or machete and uh, hack a couple times in the bark, three or four foot high. Especially in, you want to do this in the fall or winter time. You don't want to do it in the spring or summer. You want to do it when the when the sap is going down into the ground. And uh, what it'll do is it'll you, you spray a. Uh, I use a herbicide called Crossbow, but you can use 2,4-D and Roundup mixed together. Just you have to mix it really strong. And uh, you can see it, it killed the tree and then we had a wind, uh, part of that hurricane come through last week and it, it blowed them over. So now I'm gonna try to get them up. This is that Mexican heather I got. Still blooming. We have had a frost. Uh, we had two light frosts. This is uh, something else that I got in the mountains when I was uh, in Sugar Mountain at Lowe's. Where I bought those other two flowers I was mentioning earlier. Um, I think it's called Montuck daisies. They're similar to Shasta daisies. You can see the um, that's the purple cone flower. It's doing pretty good here now. Still haven't bloomed yet. This is the front field here. It's planted with. Um, that tri mix that I got from the feed and seed store down the road. It's got purple top um, turnips, uh, kale, three or four different types of mustard greens. And you can see some of this is doing pretty good. You can see these uh, these turnips here. See them, see them in there. Nice looking turnips. 
might eat some of them for Thanksgiving. You can see where the frost has hit it a couple of times. It's kind of growing in waves out here. See, this patch is doing good. There's four or five patches that are they're doing pretty good. I got some uh, garlic bulbs coming. So hopefully I can uh, plant those for too much longer. I'm not sure where, really where I'm gonna put those at. Uh, I may put them over there up against the house. I ain't really sure. Fall garden still looking pretty good. You see the lettuce right there. I've taken two cuttings off of it. And these are the radishes in this row. Them are uh, mustard greens in that row. Uh, broccoli down there at the end. I think that's collards. That's collards. Actually, that's cabbage down there on the end. That's broccoli on the right. And that middle row right there is cabbages. You can see where my father-in-law is come and put some uh, seven dust on these. Hopefully in the next year or two, I'm gonna switch over where I'm not using that too much. But um, right now, that's, he believes in that kind of stuff. Oh man, I didn't notice these. Got some onions popping up there. See those onions? I planted those earlier in the year. Looks like they finally uh, took off. They sprouted, but uh, the rest of them didn't look like they were doing anything, but that's pretty good. Oh, got some new growth. Got some new growth coming up on these uh, blackberry bushes here. Transplanting this rosemary from the front to here. Blackberry bushes. These don't look like they're making it. You can see the woods turning a different color. This is uh, some of those little Henry I pulled up, musky dye. These right here are uh, some white oak acorns. They sprouted, and so I plant them in here. Hopefully they'll, they'll come on up. These are kind of small, but I'm gonna try to eat them and just see what they taste like. A couple of radishes. I only had a few carrots make it. So, don't think. I'm gonna leave them in the ground for a little while longer. These are like a yellow variety carrot. So that's about it. Guess we'll see y'all on the next update. This was my, I guess you'd say my October beginning of November update. So we'll see y'all next time. Thanks for joining us.